Welcome to OK Miniatures. Today we're going to be making a static grass applicator. To start off, we need an electric fly swatter, a steel mesh, which you can get from either a tea strainer or something similar to that, or you can get it from a steel mesh drain strainer. And you also need a container with a lid. I picked all of mine up for under $10 with the bonus of two extra containers, which I think will come in very handy, and I'll get into that towards the end of the project. You also need batteries for the fly swatter, alligator clip, and wire. For tools, I used a drill with a small bit. I used 5 32nd inch, but anything fairly small will work. I also had a hot glue gun, soldering iron with solder, wire stripper, screwdriver, old scissors, sharpie, and a knife. To start off with, we need to disassemble the fly swatter. After pulling out the screws and pulling apart the plastic handle, carefully pry apart the plastic around the mesh. You can keep at least one of these in one piece, that would be ideal. You can also cut the strainer out of the frame and flatten it. To add the container to the handle, I marked the container onto the yellow handle, the wider section of it, marked out that outer diameter, and then I cut that out to match using a knife and a wire cutter. I took my time here and kind of shaped this to fit nicely because the container I used had a gap between the lid in the actual container part, which fit this yellow plastic piece perfectly. And this meant that I could use that gap to hold everything sturdy. When carving the gap in the for the lid to go on, you also got to be careful that to make sure that the container can actually twist on. In my case, this lip on the edge of the yellow piece got in the way, so I had to cut that off on one side. But as you can see, I can now take this container off, store my static grass with the extras of my lids and containers and then swap out a different container with a different type of static grass in it. Before attaching the lid to the handle, we want to drill out a giant hole in the middle of it for the mesh to go into. To do this, I drill a series of small holes around the lid and then cut them out using a knife. To attach the lid to the handle, originally I used epoxy to glue the yellow the lid to the yellow piece but that was brittle and it broke after only a little bit of flex so I went back and added hot glue to this joint which was significantly better it was much more flexible and it hasn't broken yet and it'll be very easy to fix in the future using the sharpie I marked the lids hole onto the mesh and cut it out with a bad pair of scissors cutting metal isn't great for scissors so don't use your nice pair then I used hot glue to glue it to the lid and I filled in the gaps so that none of the static grass would get stuck in there between the hot glue and the lid itself. Next up, I drilled a hole through the bottom of the handle. You can choose the location of the hole based on where you think it'll be most convenient. Since the button is on one side and I'm left-handed, I use my left hand to make sure that the button would be in a convenient spot for my thumb. Once you have that orientation that you want to use the handle in, you drill a hole through the bottom, the portion that would face down. Keep in mind that the strainer, the mesh, will be parallel to what surface is down, so don't drill it out through the side. You gotta choose either the top or the bottom so that the wire is coming out perpendicular to the mesh. I put one of each color wire through the hole. In my fly swatter, there are two yellow wires, but that's because of the way the uh, fly swatter is set up. We don't actually need both of those, so if you want, you can cut one of them off, or I just left it tucked away without any exposed wire. Then I use my knife to cut a hole for the wire in the lid so that it can come up through the bottom of the lid into the inside. This will help protect the soldered joint. I stripped the ends of the wires. Then I soldered the yellow wire to the mesh. This was rather difficult. The solder really didn't want to stick to the mesh. So if I had to do this again, I would try to weave the wire into the mesh and then solder it from both sides. The other wire I soldered to a longer piece of wire, which I then soldered to an alligator clip. I covered the joints with electrical tape. You can also use heat shrink tubing, which would be slightly better, but I don't have any of that on hand. Then it's time to reassemble the handle and give it a try.
I'm really happy with how this turned out. It does a pretty good job. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, consider subscribing. With that, I'll see you in the future.